we use you, we do this. Yep. Now we get a Paradox Engine. This is just a clean kill now. Hello YouTube, welcome to Fine Dane. Today we are going to have a look at Magda Brazen Outlaw in Historic Brawl. This game aims to win by going infinite using Paradox Engine or just using the plan B of beating down the opponent with dwarves and dragons. Um, this particular deck uh, is a bit light on interaction, but we do have a very threatening game plan. We play a lot of dwarves, basically all the two mana ones, uh, most of the three mana ones, and then the dwarves that, like, or cards that produce multiple dwarves as well. And uh, Magda allows us to, um, in combination with the vehicle, just tap all of them and create treasures. And if we have in total five dwarves uh, available to us, we can now, uh, basically, we tap the team. We get a Paradox Engine, we play one card, and then we can go with Ancestor Statue, make it bounce itself, and then make infinite treasures, and then playing the whole deck, and then killing people with Aether Flux, or just hasting in Macromos Memorial, and making infinite tutus. Yeah, we have a bunch of ways to kill the opponent. Also, Mass Nexus is a pretty cool card, because it allows our vehicles to also be dwarves, and then they can crew themselves after they crewed for the first time, so that is pretty great. And uh, yeah, we just need like a high amount of vehicles, high amount of dwarves. Um, so we don't have too many slots available in the deck. I have some tech choices. So against storm decks, you just fetch, fetch God Pharaoh statue and you basically win the spot. Chromos Memorial can um, also win the game on its own against certain decks like Mono Black. And uh, Terror of Mod Velus is probably just the best card if you just want to kill the opponent. Um, Goldspan produces dragons, uh, uh, Goldspan produces treasures, not dragons. Um, Windfall produces treasures, like we have a lot of treasure generators, um, and yeah, this is as simple as the deck can get, I guess. This is Magda Brazen Outlaw, the mono red combo deck in Historic Brawl. Uh, if you enjoyed this list, uh, consider liking uh, the video and subscribing to the channel, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. We are ready to play against Kinnon, Wonder Prodigy? I didn't expect these matchups with Magna. Interesting. Um, yeah, is Kinnon tier, uh, is Magna tier 1 in Historic Brawl or something like that? Did I miss something? Um, this is a keep though. Yeah, I guess. We have a Dwarf, we have Magda, we have Ramp. Yeah, beautiful. Yep, dog. Nothing too special here. Um, guess I go with the dwarves, and then next turn I can go Signet Magda attack. And I guess they don't block. Yeah, if they block, that would actually be really good for us. Question is, do they have a spell pierce here? Because that would be awful with the signet here. I mean, oh no, they kind of also. Okay, they fully tap out. Sure. That's fine by me, I guess. Um, I guess I just want to put out the signet, right? Tech, and I would be very, very uh, surprised if they block with Kinney here. Yep. Um, <clears throat> now hope they whiff. Okay, that's fine. That is actually super, super fine by me. I do this. Yep, sure. Do this. And I can't just win next turn, can't I? Uh, yeah, seems good. Oh, I can also... Can't foretell this and use the mana yeah, for telling this is actually efficient here, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Beautiful. And then... I hope they don't get something too bad here. Uh, that would be considered too bad, actually. Um, and I think we can pack it up. Like the Varnclex wasn't really a problem here. 
Um, like this was still lethal next turn, right? It was just that the uh, Magda getting stolen, that's just kind of the worst thing that can happen, right? <clears throat> we can still top deck a bolt, but I believe then we're still just almost dead here. Oh, they're not attacking. Um, I could go with the Nexus and produce more dwarves each turn. Do I want to do that? Oh, as soon as I get the Magda, I instantly win, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I just want to use this mana from the Signet every turn. I kind of don't want to... Ah... Uh, yeah, let's just pass turn. Don't want to dip into the treasures here. They... Swing in? Oh, what? That's so good for us. Yes, we take that trade all day, every day. Sure. Yes, g give me my Magda back. Wow, that is... Amazing. Okay, um, activate Kinnon. Sure, that's just an old, old Hydra. I'm fine with that. That's not a stock standard Kinnon card because it's just like a 5 5. Like, you see, like, Kinnon doesn't have a lot of lands out at the same time. Oh, all different land arts, though. Sure, now I can counter your thing. Uh, uh. Yep. And this should be game. Uh -huh. Yep, resolve. They have six mana here. Gracious Gride Chuck. Okay, that is fine. Mm -hmm. Currently thinking if I need to act or is that still lethal next turn? It's probably still lethal, right? Um, so this, what about you guys? I'm so confused. Are these tapped now? I think it doesn't matter for the sake of I can't wait two turns and yeah. Yep, yep. Wait, now they're... Okay, that is interesting. Yep, cannon activation. Sure, doesn't matter. I think they can activate Killen like once more from that, but um, yep, sure, activate Killen once more. That yeah, we're dead now. Ah, oh, okay, that actually did matter because haha. <laughs> so I should have played the Magda from the treasures again. No, that still wouldn't have helped here. Yeah, I need my, like, dwarves and whatnot. Mm. Yep, uh, GG, I guess. We are ready to play against Magda, the mirror match. And we have the cool artwork. Well, they don't have the cool artwork, so who will win? Our opponent goes first, so they will win. I see how it goes. But we have a dwarf, we have a vehicle we can also net a bunch of life with this aether flux maybe a card you could replace aether flux for is the um terror of mount no no terror terror of the peaks that's the one um yep i go with magda so i can play vehicle on turn three and crew immediately mm-hmm so do you have the one drop dwarf to go with it? Yep, they use it now, that's correct, otherwise I can like bolt it. Say attack. I would consider actually blocking. Yep. That's fine. Mm, although uh, if I block, yeah, my next turn is going to be like 
garrison and then I will block her, right? Yeah. And then afterwards I can just go with Goldspan Dragon into Metallic Mimic, Crewing and all the fun stuff basically. Yep. <clears throat> so... I have an Acromos Memorial in this matchup. So that's probably what I'm fetching. Just they went first, so that's kind of problematic for me. Hmm. Dwarf Mind. Oh, that's a perfect land here for them. And now they abrade my mobile garrison. That would be the most awful thing here. Let's see. Let's see. Chandra, Torch of Defiance, and then minusing on my Magda. I'm the best fire starter there is. Um, that means I attack the Chandra with the Goldspan, right? Ah, uh, them going first here and having good cards is kind of bad for me. Because I think like this game would have just been the other way around if I went first. Like who's going first in this matchup is just so infinitely important, right? Because they get two Magda activations before I get my one and that is just death for me. Because they now get one I don't need this. and then one more, yeah that's ten treasures in total. I don't think I can do anything here. Universal Automaton. Wait, that was lethal. You just... You didn't need to play that from hand. Because, like, they go Paradox Engine. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm showcasing the lethal here if they do it, um, otherwise, uh, you know, I can't. Like, they have infinite here if they have Paradox Engine and Statue in the deck. Let's see. Godfire Statue doesn't do anything. I'm absolutely fine by that. That's... I'm at 12. Okay. Um, I have to use this, right? Uh, I attack with Goldspan. Well, it kind of does something, right? Because I just don't have the mana to do... I could have attacked with Garrison and attack with Magda, but then I'm just dead to their board. Dwarfs, yep. And I need a blocker here. Yep. I just need a blocker. Maybe this disincentivizes them from attacking. Oh no, I'm dead because they just get Terror of Mount Velas here. Um. Man, they could have, like, if they probably don't have Paradox, they... I'm just wondering, the statue, like, they had lethal. If they had Terror, they could have fetched Terror last turn as well, and the... Uh, um... Embercleave kills me either way. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Like, I'm just playing like they don't... Like, they can't activate Magna, but they obviously can, so it's over here. Um, let's just say they took creative freedom in the order they played their cards in. What? That's also lethal, that's hilarious. But, okay. The opponent is spicing it up with the, uh, Nico Bolas, uh, tribal backend of Magda here. Uh, GG. We are ready to play against Kiora. 
Oh, sure. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Goblin Engineer is a sweet tech because that can just fetch us a goblin, uh, goblin a dwarf. It can fetch us a vehicle, a rock, which is basically what we want. I am going to resolve the Axe Cavalry here and then we can swing it with Magda as well. I presume they play dog. Oh yeah, it's a zero power dog. Oh, that's so filthy. Yep. Yep. And I want to get a dwarf here. Yep, universal automaton. Attack. Beautiful. So I guess, yep, this is probably going to sacrifice a treasure, we get a Tomaton, we can play Daredevil Dragster with that, then win in two turns. Yeah, pretty good. Let's turn five lethal here on board. <clears throat> so they now have four mana available, I guess they, okay. Yeah, that's, that's perfect, fine. That is uh, one of the cards I do not care about here in this case. Yep, um, get you, sack you. Um, I like, sure, dragster. And then, I'm going to do this now. Yep. And pass her. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep. Um, let's see. Next up, uh, I, I'm. F what can they do to stop me? They only have one blue, so that's kind of irrelevant. I assume. Chakra crab. Okay. And I mean, chakra crab is a ton of pressure. Oh no, that's the hydra. I was thinking about the hydra that gains power and toughness equal to loyalty like counters okay um one two three four yep crew we use you we do this yep now we get a paradox engine this is just a clean kill now so we play any one card from hand now we crew everything again and okay uh, so now we would have gotten statue and we had four dwarves well one uh, three dwarves and a mox amber so that would have gotten us the statue and then we infinitely bounced that to build infinite storm count and after all of that we bounced the mox amber we create uh, gets uh, treasures and then uh, we use them to uh, fetch the Etherflux Reservoir and then win off of that. We could have also went up in treasures here with a Masswood Nexus because these two would have been uh, dwarves as well. Yeah, plenty of options. GG. We are ready to play against Jeskai Control with Narset. I assume it's Jeskai Control. It could also be Jeskai Cycling or something like that, but who plays that, right? Um, that's just a bunch of dwarves. Is that good enough against them? They go first. I guess I just need creatures to pressure them, right? Um, the main problem I have here that is that Magda isn't resolving. Well, now I'm kind of inclined to play the Magda here. Um, but the x Cavalry is obviously more mana next turn. Because I can play that now and then tap the Magda. But I just want to get Narset under the counter spells. Uh, Magda under the counter spell. Did I say Narset or Magda? I don't even know anymore. Um, yep. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I want to attack.
Raisin Borrow, sure, that's absolutely fine by me. And I'm just replaying this again, getting it under counter spells. Yep. <clears throat> I assume they can also just like board wipe me here. Oh no, they. Ah, now they play the commander in mind as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. Okay, they discard a board wipe. That is great for us. That's actually really great. Um, the question is, is this a matchup where I can just get up to so much life with Aether Flux that I can kill them off of it? They do me three damage with Brazen Borrow each turn. Could also go something like Caravan into X Guard. I believe that is just better right now. Because then I like pressure th uh, them into like hasting up a like a Magda or something like that. If they just keep mana up, I can like maybe just bait them with an Ether Flux Reservoir. I get get that countered and then sneak the Magda in later. Six mana. Lots of uh, scary things happen at six mana, not gonna lie. That is okay by me. Yeah, that's actually okay. Um, I think I go ahead and kill Narset here. And I do so with a... Honestly, no, 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 no. Let's, let's just leave her at one. I could have, like, killed with the X card, but this way I get one more treasure. But also, I leave Narset at one, so they can't replay in minus, which is important, I think. Yep. Plus. That's fine. Behold? Yes. That is a good start for us. Ah, that's not good. <clears throat> so... Yeah, that's a Narset. Okay, sure, sure. I'm currently thinking, um, what card can just destroy them that I have in the deck? Because if I can get a Dwarf to stick here, I can actually produce five treasures. Ay ay ay. Okay. That is unfortunate. Wait, they let me untap with that? That's so good for us. Because now it's just, you know, seven dwarves? Wait. Why is this... Don't non-creature spell cost two more? What? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It did cost two more. I was switching up the like I was I I was looking at the right. Okay, it does cost three. Okay. Honestly, just double seven dwarves maybe. Oh wow, they they did mess up with the swords. Um, move to attack. Give you haste? Sure. That's a okay with me. I'm I'm just confused on the swords timing they are employing here. What? Um opponent, you're mad, right? At least sorts something in response to the Magda to the two Magda triggers here, right? And that should be the Magda, otherwise I get get something for free. What? Oh, they have a Tails and Oh, I... Haha. <laughs> They're trying to be sneaky here. Nope, they don't have a Tails end. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We now have an opening. Do we sneak in a Massword Nexus to pump out Dwarves every single turn? So what dies here? The Narset? Uh, well, yeah, the Narset, duh, but the blue, mono blue one. I could also just go with Godfire Statue, I like that. Yep. 
not prepared for this. Okay, that is hopefully putting them off mana. Oh, they are. Oh, that's why they. Okay. I always forget that part about ECD. Literally always. Um. So, but it didn't matter. It could have down ticked anyways. Now I'm killing it anyways, right? It's like, whatever. Okay, Archmage's Charm. Sure. Just, I want to hit my land drops here. That's really what I want. Let me help you practice. Do they spend that mana as well? Realm Cloak Giant, okay. Uh, if I had hit my land drops, that would have been pretty nice. I think this is a game I can win off Aetherflux, can't, can't I? So I just need to stack a lot of cards in the same turn. Rimrock Knight will help me with that. Keep an open mind. Time Warp, sure. That's like, not too helpful. Like they can just Time Warp, which is fine. Um, that gets them an additional Narset part of Veil's activation. And I mean, both Narsets get an additional activation. Oh, okay, now that makes a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. No, they can't counter anything. Um, that. Oh, that's a Masswood Nexus. Yeah, sure, I want to sneak that into play and then just hope to win all of that, maybe. The one annoying thing here is that I don't... Like the, the, the Nadaris with the exit turn coming up is actually annoying. I'm going to save this Rimrock Knight to play more um, spells in one turn, like the one mana activation here. Now it's part of Veils, getting another card, sure. It's fine. The card that I'm currently looking at in the opponent's hand is obviously Archmage's Charm. Um, they venture into the dungeon. What do they go into? Lost Mind of Phandalver. The age old classic. Yep, and. Oh, they were already in that mine. Um, yeah, I just forgot that it also does it on ETB. Okay. Is there a better card to fetch than the Godfarer statue? Chromus Memorial does give Pro Red and Haste to my things. But it doesn't make them uncounterable. This is certainly interesting. <clears throat> Narset. Mm -hmm. Let me help you practice. Man, th this Nadar is so annoying. Like I know they also have like a Brazen Borrow and a Realm Cloak Giant, right? I guess they also just play that giant now, maybe. Just to pressure me. Would be unfortunate omen. Sure, and they hold the bark mage's charm, I think that's reasonable. Yep, they are attacking in. Yeah, like these creatures actually make the like plan to grind the opponent out with Ether Flux not that great. I'm just dropping and dropping. Um, honestly, I like playing an Ether Sphere Harvester here. I really hope they don't counter that with the charm. Well, well, you see, they didn't counter it with the charm. A was correct in that regard. I could lime. I could activate Maskwood. Oh, they're ultimating Narset as well? Oh. Yeah, sure. Get a bolt or something like that? Sure. 
sure faith is looting. Hmm. I don't see us winning this, to be honest. This doesn't seem too hot. Um. You absolute mad lad. What? You just need to pressure my life total and I can't do anything about this game. What do you mean? Also, this would have been way better on the loyalty of Narset. Sure, they couldn't. They couldn't have held a, up a counter spell while replaying Narset. Costs eight to replay it right now. Um, kind of like just using Shatter Skull for, like, two here on Narset. One, two, three, four, and then Rimrock Knight and Rimrock Knight again. Yeah, sure. It gains me 6 life again, up to 30. Oh, well, this gear rock doesn't work the way you think it works. You know, because... Oh, well, he, he, yeah, he does have the 2 mana. Okay, I forgot about the treasure. Um, they gain more life. Yeah, they pressure my life total to my share. GG. We are done with the games. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And yeah, this is Magda Brazen Outlaw in Historic Brawl. Um, the deck uh, in these particular games didn't perform that well, I believe. I think we went uh, one and three. But I still think this is a fun and cool brew. Um, maybe it was just unlucky. I mean, and the one game it was literally the mirror match and they went first. So I blame that. <laughs> Um, other than that, if you want to play this deck on a budget, what do you, uh, can you cut? What do you need? Um, so, honestly, you can, like, play a few more common and uncommon vehicles, but you really, like, want, like, these cheap vehicles. Like, Cultivate this Caravan is probably the best out of all of those. Well, and the Shadowed uh, Caraval, because it's a two-mana Crew 2. Like, there is a real difference between Crew 2 and Crew 3, because that way you can, like, drop Magda and crew and you don't need to attack it or something but other than that um, any vehicle will work you again you can replace Aetherflux Reservoir with Terra of Mount Velas. one of them like they're both not commons or uncommons right but like they're interchangeable um, and uh, you obviously need the Paradox and like I highly recommend having like a Necromus Memorial like Goldspan like these cards um, I sadly didn't get to play Reckless Clue. I was really keen on playing that. Maybe that thing produced like three dwarves and it's absolutely nutty. Um, maybe it never produces enough dwarves and it's absolutely awful. You guys have to experiment with that. Um, I literally didn't get to play the card in a single game. Um, but yeah, Goblin Engineer performed. Uh, Mox Amber is obviously a great card and um, yeah, it's it's... It's not that expensive if you already like combo decks. I, I, I think that's the TLDR. If you already have like combo decks um, and like play draft in recent sets, this deck shouldn't be that much of a problem because a lot of these cards you can actually cut. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe.